I have two daughters at the school. Nicole is in second grade and Isabel is in kindergarten. I remember uh, Nicole saying, um, we met a football player today for career day. We met a doctor, we met this, we met that, we met a football player. And I said, really, what's his name? And she said, her name. <laughs> and Nicole goes, girls can do anything, <laughs> anything that, you know, that boys can do. We can do it too. Come on up, show us what four looks like. I want to be a chef, a teacher, and um, a designer. I really want to be um, a ballet teacher. I want to be a doctor and a nurse. Oh, I want to be a veterinarian and a doctor. A uh, actress. Uh, I, want, I want to be a vampire when I grow up. I want to be an eye doctor and a singer. I want to be a fat doctor because people have fat inside them and I want to take it out. I want to be a dancer. Our students don't feel as if they're limited by anything, and I think a large part of that has to do with the fact that our classrooms are named after women who have achieved great things. Mae Jemison, first African-American woman to go into space, Billie Jean King, and these are people that are part of their everyday. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. I want to be a teacher. A teacher. When they go home and they play and they want to be their teacher, that's who they, you know, that's that's who they act like, and that's how you know when your when your daughters are being treated well and they know that they're loved. On the first day of school, I was so happy. I was thinking who was gonna be my teacher. They're really special to us, and they help us learn new things. And without them, we couldn't be this smart right now. School, you get to be smart a lot. You get to like be a star and you get to do fun stuff. When I learn something in school, I like just lock it in my brain so I could go home and tell my grandma and my mom. We really see parents as our partners in making sure that students are successful at school. They really want this school to be successful for their daughters and for other people's daughters as well. Our parents are terrific. The first thing that catches your eye is that it's an all-girls school. Second, that it's free. <laughs> and then you realize that there's so much more. It's not only about a school, we have a community. We're the only all-girls public elementary school in the city. Parents come from far and wide to come to this school. So although we do have a lot of families that come from the Lower East Side and they can walk and it is convenient, we also have families that come from Staten Island and the Bronx, and it takes them maybe an hour and a half, sometimes two hours to get to school. So I have to wake up about, I don't know, maybe four or five o'clock in the morning. I wake up at six o'clock in the morning when it's still dark and the sun didn't even get up yet. It's so really I... morning, but it's dark. My mother has to drive over three bridges. I take the L train, and I get off at first half, and then I take the M14 and it stops at the school. Boys can't go inside girls' prep, because boys, they don't have a uniform. It's only supposed to be girls in the school, not, not boys. Not boys. Girls' prep means only girls can be allowed. The impact of the All Girls Empowerment is astounding. It really is. To watch an all-girls class, it's just, it's, it's, it's just different from the way boys interact. We need to encourage them to have their voice and to sort of try and break some of those natural habits that, that girls have to be quiet and docile. One, two, three, four! Boys make noise and then we can't really concentrate. And then we have problems. Yes. Girls concentrate on their homework instead of like all toys and games and video games and all that stuff. Only boys like to see movies. They don't like to see books. They stomp the books on the floor. Not they girls. throw books all around. I have a brother at home and he gives me a lot of stress and then he gets me in trouble so it's easier to learn because they don't get me in trouble. Uh, um, girls don't get me in trouble as much as boys do. When you go to girls' prep, you really think that it, you were meant to be in the school.
the fastest runner, the best at math, that everything will always be a girl. So they're always, you know, there's always a girl that we can talk about that did, you know, something that went beyond and above. You know, if they go on to co-ed high schools, I know that they're going to bring that confidence with them and that knowledge, you know, and that, that authority that they have. I think Girls Prep is like a famous school because it's so fun and you get to do a lot of fun stuff. My mom and dad thinks that I should stay in this school, and I should. This is a really cool school.